Hey guys, this is Josh Farley back with another video. I mean, in this video, I'm actually going to be talking about why me and my mom are going to be keeping the T-Mobile 5G home internet. Um, and I'm going to be going over some uh, other internet plans that are actually available in our area. Um, so let's actually get into this video. Um, so before I actually start this video, I actually want to talk about um, new customers with the T-Mobile 5G home internet. Um, I actually have another video about this on my channel. Um, I go more into detail about it. Um, there's actually some bad news for T-Mobile 5G home internet customers, the new customers anyway. Um, if you didn't sign up before January 18th, um, they've actually increased the price of, of the T-Mobile home internet to uh, the T-Mobile 5G home internet. Um, to uh, 50 to 60 dollars a month from 50 dollars a month um, and they also um, have actually implanted a 1.2 terabyte um, data cap on the uh, new customer so um, if you're a new customer um, you're going to have these restrictions you're going to have a uh, a uh, 60 dollar um, a month bill instead of a 50 dollar probably like 55 dollars a month um, which still wasn't that bad, you know, with auto pay. Um, but if you don't have auto pay or you don't use auto pay or you don't want to use auto pay, um, then you would be looking at $60 a month. Um, but uh, the other thing, like I said, um, you would be getting a uh, 1.2 terabyte um, data cap. Um, so how this actually works is... Um, it's kind of like the cell phone with T-Mobile, um, the cell phone plans. Like if you use um, over 50 gigabytes of allowance um, or something like that, um, then you may notice slowdowns, um, but it's not really set in stone. You might not notice slowdowns. Um, you know, it's it just depends on if the tower is congested um, or not, or if you know a lot of people are using that tower. If you're uh, or if you went over the 1.2 terabyte um, limit that they give you, um, so it's not actually like a limit. It's just like a like a uh, like a like a thing where um, if you go over it, um, you're gonna see reduced speeds, or you may AC reduced speed, so it's not like um, if you hit the 1.2 terabytes, it's not like they're going to shut your internet off um, or anything like that, but you may notice reduced speeds um, in times of congestion and stuff like that with the towers and stuff, um, but for me and my mom, um, we're grandfathered in, and, and for customers um, that have been with them um, longer, you know, uh, before January 18th, um, or, you know, on January 18th, um, if you got your service before that or on that uh, date on in 2024, um, then you'll be grandfathered in um, and you won't have to worry about these limitations and stuff like that. Um, you won't have to be charged $60 a month. You know, you won't be, um, you know, you'll still have your uh, truly unlimited data. Um, you're not going to, you know, have to worry about, um, you know, going over 1.2 terabytes um, and then, you know, then possibly slowing you down uh, for the time being. That's, you know, for new customers only. Like I said, um, I don't know if that's going to, you know, be forever. Um, but for now, me and my mom are grandfathered in because we've been with them um, for almost two years now. So we're grandfathered in um, to the truly unlimited uh, 5G home internet. Um, so let's actually talk about um, the uh, website that I'm on here, I'm actually uh, going to go over some plans um, that are available in our area. Um, I'm actually from New Jersey, so um, I'm not going to, you know, actually give my address here, but you can uh, go on this website. It's actually called uh, allconnect.com, um, and it gives you options of internet plans available in your area, uh, home internet plans available in your area. Um, it's a really well laid out website. Um, as you can see here, it says six internet plans are available my area um, it says fill to your plan it's a really nice website um, you can fill to your plan no contract uh, under 50 speeds over 100 mbps um, but i'm just going to go over you know the basics here um, i'm going to go over you know what um, what providers are available in our area we don't really have many as you can see here only six options um, but i'm going to go over the options and i'm going to you know let you guys know uh, you know, why we're keeping the T-Mobile 5G home internet over these other providers. Um, so let's actually get into this video. Um, I'll go down here. Um, and as you can see, the first option here um, is a big one. It's actually called Xfinity Internet. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about them. Um, you know, they're, wor they're worldwide, obviously. You know, Comcast or Xfinity, whatever you want to call them. Um, but it actually says here, 
Um, it gives the information available speeds, uh, 75 to 2000 Mbps. Um, so that's obviously gigabit speeds. Um, you know, me and my mom, you know, we don't need gigabit speeds, so we, we've never had them. Uh, we, when we, even when we did have Comcast or Xfinity, whatever you want to call them, um, so we, we actually had them, you know, for years. We've had, uh, Comcast. Uh, we had them for years until we switched the T-Mobile 5G home internet, um, because we just got tired of the, uh, the price hikes and everything and the sketchiness, um, you know, where you would have to call in, um, and try to get a better price all the time, you know, like every few months, um, we would have to call in and try to get a new plan, um, you know, a new promotion and stuff like that, um, and we just got tired of doing it, it just got annoying, um, because sometimes they would say, oh, well, you're already on the lowest plan, um, and we would be paying like, uh, we would be paying like 350 or 380 or more, uh, for internet, you know, and TV and stuff like that, um, you know, even combined, you know, and they would be like, oh, well, we're giving you the best plan, you know, we don't have any promotions available at this time, um, you know, so we're, you, you'll have to check back later, um, and we just got so tired of it, we just left them, um, and we went with the T-Mobile 5G home internet, um, and, you know, I'm really glad we did, you know, it says, uh, it says plans uh, starting at $25 a month, but you're not going to get much for that. You'll probably get like a plan um, with like 25 Mbps or 50 Mbps if you're lucky, maybe 75 Mbps, but I highly doubt it. Um, and that's, you know, not really usable speeds for even me and my mom. Um, and, you know, I have a smart, you know, home. I have a lot of smart devices like my mom. Um, she has an Amazon Echo. My, uh, you know, I myself, I have, you know, a lot of Google stuff. I have Google Nest Hubs. Um, and stuff like that, so even, you know, 25 or 50 Mbps, even 75, you know, that just, that just wouldn't be enough, you know, and it wouldn't be, you know, worth, you know, investing in, you know, because it's, you know, just not enough, um, but, uh, you know, we were paying, uh, you know, like I said, we were paying like 350 uh, to 380 a month, you know, even bundled, um, with our phone service, you know, we had a, we had a landline phone with them, um, we were with them since like 1994, um, you know, since I was born, basically, and, you know, uh, they, they just never wanted to give us a better deal, so we just got rid of them, um, so that's that, um, so the next one here is actually the current one that we have, um, that's T-Mobile 5G Home Internet, um, and it says available speeds 245 Mbps. Um, we actually average more than that, which is actually surprising to me um, because we're in a rural area. Um, we actually uh, average around like 300 to 375. Um, sometimes on on uh, like at night and stuff, we can actually get speeds to like 400 Mbps, which is actually really good, um, which is actually close to what we were paying for Comcast slash Xfinity. Um, whatever you want to call them, like I said, um, but, uh, let me actually talk more about this, um, it says the contract length, it says none, uh, data caps, unlimited data, um, that's actually false, so they actually need to change this now, um, if you're an existing customer, uh, with the T-Mobile 5G home internet, like I said, before January 18th, um, we definitely are, we're grandfathered in, um, so we still have unlimited data, uh, but for new customers after January 18th, um, and beyond, um, you're going to have uh, a data cap of 1.2 um, terabytes, like I said, if you go over that, um, then they possibly will throttle your speeds, but we're grandfathered in, so we don't have to worry about that, um, we still have the truly unlimited data, um, and then it says plans start at $40 a month, that's um, actually false too, that needs to be updated as well, um, that's actually $60 a month now for new customers, um, but for customers like me and my mom um, that have been with them for almost two years now or a year and a half, um, you know, um, or before uh, January 18th, like I said, um, you'll actually still be paying 50 a month, um, but we actually pay around 40 a month because we have, uh, I actually have T-Mobile for my cell phone service as well. Um, so I only get them for like $40 a month. We get the T-Mobile 5G home internet for only like $40 a month because I have auto pay, uh, set up for all my devices. Um, so I have a Google Pixel 8, um, that I've rang over to them and I also have a Google Pixel Watch LTE 2, um, that I brought over to them. So I get $5 off for both of those devices. 
Um, and then I also get five dollars off for the T-Mobile 5G home internet itself. Um, so instead of paying 50, we're paying about like 40 or 30 um, a month for the uh, 5G home internet. So that's definitely not bad at all. Um, and like I said, you know, I've been uh, really impressed with the speeds too. So that's, you know, that's what we currently have. Um, so the next one here is actually Verizon 5G home internet. Um, and we can't actually get these. So I don't actually know why this is showing up um, because we can't get them, um, you know, which is actually really surprising uh, to me because I actually called them um, and I also chatted with them and I also put in my address and stuff on the website um, and they told me that it's not available in our area um, and I really don't know why because uh, Verizon claims that they're the best um, you know when it comes to cell reception and all that and signal um, and you know uh, broadband you know broad you know signal and stuff you know and uh, you know I, I chatted with them and I told them I said well um, you know, I can get 5G home internet from T-Mobile, um, so why can't I get 5G home internet from you guys? I said, because you guys, you know, claim to be, you know, the best when it comes to signal and reception and all that kind of stuff. Um, and they just told me, oh, well, you know, we're always uh, working to expand our network um, and stuff like that. And I said, well, you know, that's not really a good thing, I said, because T-Mobile has you beat. Um, you know, when it comes to rural areas, you know, we're in a rural area, um, and, you know, T-Mobile, um, is actually not as good in rural areas as, uh, Verizon is, you know, with cell phone service and stuff, so, um, you know, that's a really, you know, bad thing for Verizon that they don't actually offer, uh, 5G home internet, you know, basically worldwide, I mean, that's, you know, not really good on their part, so, um, I told them, you know, obviously, I told them, forget it, you know, since we can't get it here, um, but they did actually tell me, um, the next one here, I can actually go down to this one, um, they did actually tell me, uh, that they have 4G, uh, LTE home internet, um, available in our area for Verizon, but, um, I actually turned them down because they, uh, they told me that I would average, uh, with that, um, they told me the speeds that we would average is only 25, uh, Mbps to 50 Mbps, as you can see right here, so they definitely weren't lying about that, um, but that's, you know, that's not good enough, especially for me and my mom, um, and occasionally my niece and my sister and her boyfriend, um, over and streaming stuff, and, you know, uh, you know, my niece watching TV, you know, using Pluto TV, you know, using her Nintendo Switch, her tablet, you know, us using our phones, you know, I have a lot of, uh, smart stuff, my mom has an Amazon Alexa, uh, smart speaker, I have a lot of, uh, Google stuff, I have Google Nest hubs around the house, um, I have stuff like that, my laptops, uh, my computers, my mom's computers, you know, that, that, that just wouldn't be enough speed for us, so, um, I turn them down, and, you know, as you can see here, um, it says contract length, none, um, which is good, it says data caps, none, um, which is also good, you know, um, but, you know, I turn them down, you know, because that, that just wouldn't work for us. Um, and it says plan starting at $50, so that's definitely, you know, a no-no because that's more expensive, you know, than the T-Mobile 5G home internet. So, you know, I turn them down with that. I told them no thanks. Um, so, uh, the last one on the list here is actually called HughesNet. Um, and this is actually a, uh, a satellite internet provider. Um, and we've actually gotten, uh, like, things in the mail from them, um, actually trying to get them, you know, they're actually trying to get us, uh, to go with them. Um, we actually thought about going with them be before we actually went with the, uh, the T-Mobile 5G home internet, but me and my mom, um, we decided on the T-Mobile 5G home internet over them, um, because satellite, um, it it's just not that good. I've heard some, some, uh, iffy things about it, and my mom actually said she was on Facebook one day, um, and she said, well, she says, I think we should just try the T-Mobile 5G home internet because she's, uh, she saw a comment, um, that somebody actually commented on one of her Facebook posts or, or on a Facebook post a friend of hers, uh, put on there and they said not to go with HughesNet, um, because they're, they're like sketchy. They, they get you into a contract and then they slow down your data speeds, um, and stuff like that. As you can see here, it says, uh, available speeds 50 to 100 Mbps, which is not really that great. Um, and then it says contract length, two years, so you do have to be in a contract with them. Um, and, you know, we're not really, you know, big on being in contracts with stuff. Um, you know, that would be, you know, basically just like going back to Comcast or Xfinity. Um, you know, we're not, we're not big on that at all. Um, 
and you know uh data caps you know it says flexible data options um but i actually went to their website and i looked at their plans um and they've sent us sent us some like uh some some uh deals um in the mail before and i i just you know i just throw them away because i look at it and then it says um you read the fine print and it says well you can get it for 30 dollars a month or 25 dollars a month um, and then after that, it goes back up to $50 a month or more, you know, so that's, that's just a no, no for us. And, you know, like I said, you know, I've heard, I've heard some bad things about, um, you know, satellite internet. I've heard that it's not really that great. So, um, we're just going to keep what we have. Like I said, with the T-Mobile, uh, 5G home internet, you know, uh, we've been really happy with it. Um, you know, I have it, uh, hooked up to my, uh, my Google, uh, Wi-Fi mesh system. I have a Google Wi-Fi, uh, 6 e Pro, uh, mesh system, and it's worked great with that. Um, and like I said, you know, we get, you know, really reliable speeds, really fast speeds, you know, uh, faster speeds than they actually advertise. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, it'll be iffy sometimes, you know, if the, if the, uh, you know, data, you know, is, uh, if, if the tower is congestion and stuff, but, you know, it is what it is with that. I mean, I'm not really that worried about that. Um, but, you know, from time to time, it'll be iffy, but, you know, not, not to the point of actually being unusable. So, um, but anyway, yeah, guys, like I said, um, I just wanted to get this video out there. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know. I wanted to keep you guys in the loop um, and, and let you guys know that we're going to be keeping the T-Mobile 5G home internet. Um, and like I said, you know, we are grandfathered in, um, so we don't have to worry about those data caps or anything like that or price hikes or anything um, like that for the time being anyway. Um, hopefully, you know, uh, that won't change. But anyway, um, so yeah, anyway, guys, like I said, um, I just like to keep you guys in the loop and I just wanted to get this video out there. And if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, guys.